Sweet What a wonderful way to spend your day with Ruff Ruff Sweet and Dave. What a fun day, here we go. Yay! Ruff Ruff Sweet and Dave. The spinning girls take us on another great adventure. Say their names. What a great game! So play along at home. We love all the spinning girls. Who knows what we might find? With Hattie the hamster taking us there, we know we'll, we'll have a magical time. A magical time! Play along at home. Say their names. Here we go. It's Ruff Ruff. Ruff Ruff. Tweet. Tweet. And Dave. Dave. Ruff Ruff, Tweet and Dave. Yeah. Hello. It's me, Hattie the Hamster, with my hat full of questions. Huh? Hello. Anyone at home? Oh, uh, there you are. Come along with me and see if Ruff Ruff, Tweet and Dave are at home too. Hello, Hattie. <laughs> Hello, Tweet. Hello, Dave. Oh, where's Ruff Ruff? He hasn't come out of his house yet. Hello, Ruff Ruff. Are you coming out today? Ruff, coming. I was just enjoying being at home. I love my kennel. It's the best home in the whole world. Oh, I think my home is the best home in the whole world. It's comfy and cosy. My home is best? Mine is all pandery. Which home do you think is best, Hattie? Hmm, that's tricky. They're all so different, like each of you. <laughs> <laughs> what adventure are we going on today, Hattie? Ask, Ask the hat! Ask, Ask the, the hat! hat. OK. <laughs> today we're going on a home sweet home adventure! Yay! A home sweet home adventure! <laughs> to your rony pods! <laughs> <laughs> the spin again for a home sweet home adventure. See if anyone's home. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, sheep. Ruff, bah. The sheep are in the field. Yes, Dave. This field is their home sweet home because there's enough grass here for the sheep to eat. <laughs> Hello, Bluebird. The Bluebird looks happy in her home sweet home, doesn't she, Hattie? She does tweet. The Bluebird has a nest for a home. It's where she lays her eggs. Ruff, Ruff! This way! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mrs Cow! Moo! <laughs> Ruff! I don't think Mrs Cow is very happy. Moo! <laughs> Up. Mm. What's wrong with Mrs. Cow, Hattie? I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, maybe she's lost. No. Lost? We can help you find your home, sweet home. Come on, Mrs. Cow. Follow me. But where are we going? Oh, my hat. I feel a game coming on. Are you ready to play? Game time! Game time! <laughs> What kind of home do cows live in? In a kennel, like me. A grassy field. A roly pod. Who knows where cows live? Ruff Ruff says in a kennel. Tweet says in a grassy field. And Dave says they live in a roly pod. Who's right? Is it Ruff Ruff, Tweet or Dave? Yes, Tweet's right. Cows live in a grassy field. I knew that because I saw Mrs Cow eating grass and there's lots of grass in a grassy field. Great! Let's find a grassy field! Ruff, ruff! Mm. Your home sweet home, Mrs Cow. Mm. 
She likes her home. She does, because she can munch, munch, munch lots of grass here. Yes, Tweet. Having food nearby is one thing that makes a home a home sweet home. In my home, it's bananas. Oh, <laughs> yum. Oh, <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> what tickles, Hattie? There's something in my bubble copter. Aha, berries. <laughs> and a rabbit. Oh. <laughs> Rabbits don't live in bubble copters. And it's a good thing, too. They make such a mess. <laughs> Where do you live, Mr. Rabbit? Hmm. I know. Somewhere with lots of rabbit food. Hmm. You like eating berries, don't you? <laughs> I've got a blue panda idea. There were lots of berries in the woods. Yes, Mr Rabbit's home sweet home must be in the woods. Let's take him there. Follow me. Wait for me. <laughs> there you are, Mr Rabbit. Lots of berries. Oh. I wonder where Mr Rabbit's house is. How about that hole in the tree trunk? Up there, in the nest. In a hole in the ground. Oh, my hat! I feel a question coming on. Let's play! Game time! Game time! <laughs> Who has found the right home for Mr Rabbit? It's the hole in the tree. The nest. The hole in the ground. So, who is right? Is it Ruff Ruff, Tweet or Dave? Yes, Dave's right. Mr Rabbit lives in a hole in the ground. Hooray! I knew that because I saw another rabbit peek out of a hole in the ground just now. He's found his home sweet home. It looks cosy in there. Yes. That's another important thing about a home. It can give you shelter. What's shelter, Hattie? Shelter means somewhere that's safe. Mr Rabbit's safe from the wind and the rain inside his cosy rabbit hole. Like me in my lovely egg-shaped home. <coughs> Ruff, a duck, what does she want? <coughs> oh dear, don't tell me you're lost too. Don't worry, we'll help you find your home sweet home. <coughs> Ruff! She's trying to swim in that puddle. Maybe that's her home sweet home. Wah. I think the puddle is too small to be her home to eat. Oh, it must be time for another game. Let's play! Game time! Game time! <laughs> Who knows the best place for ducks to live? I think ducks live near water. In a field. In a hole in the ground. So, where is the best place for ducks to live? Ruff Ruff says near water. Tweet says in a field. And Dave says in a hole in the ground. Who's right? Is it Ruff Ruff, Tweet or Dave? Yes, it's Ruff Ruff. Ducks live near water. I knew that because Mrs Duck wanted to swim, but there wasn't enough water in the puddle. <coughs> Ruff, where's she going? <laughs> <laughs> Look, she's found her home sweet home near the stream. <coughs> she's very happy here, isn't she, Hattie? Yes, Dave. That's because this is the right habitat. For a duck. What's a habitat? A habitat is somewhere with the right food, water and shelter for an animal. My habitat would have lots of bananas. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen lots of different animal homes today and had a great home sweet home adventure. Sheep and cows homes have grass to eat. A rabbit hole gives shelter from the rain and the heat. A duck needs water. She really likes that. Food, shelter and water make a, a habitat. habitat. And habitat is just another way of saying a home sweet home. Hooray! Time to go home sweet home, everyone. To the spin again. <laughs> <laughs> Whee! <laughs>
<laughs> Thank you for all your help on our home sweet home adventure. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the final guessing game, just for you. Can you guess who will fall asleep first today? Ruff Ruff, Tweet or Dave? <sighs> it was Dave. It's always Dave. We'll visit your home sweet home for another adventure soon. Bye-bye! Bye-bye! What a wonderful way to spend your day with Ruff Ruff Tweet and Dave. What a fun day, here we go. Yay! Ruff Ruff Tweet and Dave. The spinning girl will take us on another great adventure. Say their names. What a great game! So play along at home. We love all the spinning girls. Who knows what we might find? With Hattie the hamster taking us there, we know we'll have a magical time. A magical time! Play along at home. Say their names. Here we go, it's Ruff Ruff. Oh, it's me, Hattie the Hamster, with my hat full of questions. Do you like my drawing of the bubble copter? You do? Thanks. <laughs> Let's go and show it to my friends, Ruff Ruff Tweet and Dave. Up. Good morning, Ruff Ruff Tweet and Dave. Hi, Hattie. What's that in your hand? It's a drawing I made. Do you like it? It's the bubble copter. Yes, it is. I love your drawing, Hattie. Morning. I want to draw something too. I want to draw big yummy bones. Look, Hattie's drawing of the bubble copter is the same shape as my house. It's egg-shaped, Tweet. I don't think I can do a drawing as good as Hattie's. Everyone draws in their own special way. Just have fun. What adventure are we going on today, Hattie? Ask, Ask the, the hat. hat! Ask, Ask the, the hat. hat! OK. <laughs> today we're going on a drawing adventure! Hooray! A drawing adventure! A drawing adventure! A drawing adventure. Yeah. To your rolly pods! <laughs> <laughs> Spin again for a drawing adventure! some pencils and paper for everyone to start. Yeah! One for me! And me! And me! Thank, Thank you. you! Ruff, ruff! We can draw this! Or these! Or even these! Ruff, ruff, ruff! <laughs> How about this tall flower? That's a great thing to draw, Tweet! Yes! A sunflower! Oh, boy! Let's get started! But how do we start? Here's a hatty hint. Look for anything special about the flower that will help you draw it, like its shape. A big circle for the flower's head. A wobbly line for the petals. And see the bits that are straight or bendy? You copy them too. Ta-da! This is my drawing. Wow! Great drawing! Yes! I like it! Oh, <laughs> my hat! I feel a question coming on. Are you ready to play? Game time! Game time! <laughs> Which 
which part of the flower have I missed in my drawing? Here's a hatty hint. Remember to look carefully. Sticks are missing. Leaves are missing. A banana is missing. Can you see what's missing? Ruff Ruff says sticks are missing. Tweet says the leaves are missing. And Dave says a banana. Who's right? Is it Ruff Ruff, Tweet or Dave? Yes! Tweet is right! Yay! I remembered to look carefully and saw Hattie had not drawn the leaves. Yes! Why don't you start your drawings? Yeah! I've drawn a circle and a wobbly line for the flower. Me too. And I've drawn a straight line for the stem. And I didn't forget the leaves. Neither, Neither did we. we. Well done, everyone. You've all drawn the flower in your own special way. Let's draw again. Ruff, what shall we draw next? Um, something different. Hey, how about a butterfly? Great idea! This time, how about drawing with coloured pencils? Whoa! So many colours! It's hard to choose which one to use. Oh, I feel a question coming on. Are you ready to play? Game time! Game time! <laughs> which coloured pencil is the same colour as the butterfly's wings? The blue one! No, the red one. The banana-coloured pencil. So, which pencil is the same colour as the butterfly? Ruff Ruff says blue, Tweet says red, and Dave says the banana-coloured pencil. Who's right? Is it Ruff Ruff, Tweet or Dave? Yes, Ruff Ruff is right. Yay! I looked carefully and saw the butterfly was blue. <laughs> Yeah! Yay! Woohoo! <laughs> Come back! Come back, butterfly! Stay still! <laughs> huh? Ruff! Stop fluttering, butterfly! Ooh! Oh, hello! Huh? Come back! We can't draw you if you won't stay still! Now we can draw her. Hmm, but butterflies are really hard to draw. Even with the right coloured pencil. <laughs> Not if you remember what I told you. To look carefully. Yes, look at the shape of the butterfly. Let me show you. See, the butterfly's wings are the shape of two pointy triangles. Give it a try. Oh, now we know that she looks like pointy triangles. It's easy to do. See, I've coloured it in as well. I've done it too. Yes, look at mine. Ho, oh, amazing drawings. They look just like the butterfly. Bye-bye, butterfly. I want to draw something else. I have a blue panda idea. Why don't we draw each other? Great idea, Dave. Ruff, Ruff, I'm going to draw a tweet. <laughs> Wonderful. Remember to look at the shapes before you start to draw. Ooh, I feel a question coming on. Let's play. Game time, game time. <laughs> Which shape is the best shape to draw for Tweet's body? Egg-shaped, triangle-shaped, banana-shaped. Who chose the best shape for Tweet's body? Ruff Ruff says an egg shape. Tweet says she is a triangle shape. And Dave says she is banana shaped. Who's right? Is it Ruff Ruff, Tweet or Dave? Yes! Ruff Ruff is right! Yay! I saw Tweet's body was egg shaped because I looked carefully. And now you can use all the coloured pencils to draw each other. I choose yellow for Tweet. I'll draw Ruff Ruff in red. And I'll draw Dave in blue. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you look carefully. It's a good thing to do. Finding the right shape will give you a clue. 
Pick up a pencil and start drawing now. Drawing is easy when you know how. Yay! Look, I drew Tweet's round glasses. <laughs> I drew Dave's round tummy. And I drew Ruff Ruff's straight ears. <laughs> Hats off to all of you for your picture-perfect drawings. And now it's time to head home to the spin again. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Thank you for all your help on our drawing adventure. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the final guessing game, just for you. Can you guess who will fall asleep first today? Ruff Ruff, Tweet or Dave? <sighs> it was Dave. It's always Dave. Until our next adventure, get drawing! Bye-bye! Bye-bye! Ruff Ruff, Tweet and Dave! Ruff Ruff, Tweet and Dave! What a wonderful way to spend your day with Ruff Ruff, Tweet and Dave! What a fun day, here we go! Yay! Ruff Ruff, Tweet and Dave! The spinning gun will take us on another great adventure. Say their names. What a great game! So play along at home. We love all the spinning gun. Who knows what we might find? With Hattie the hamster taking us there, we know we'll have a magical time. A magical time! Play along at home. Say their names. Here we go. It's Ruff Ruff. Ruff Ruff. Tweet. Tweet. And Dave. It's me, Hattie the Hamster. And do you know what this is? <laughs> That's right, my hat full of questions. Me and my hat always go together. And I know three friends who go together perfectly too. Let's go and visit them. Up. Good morning, Ruff Ruff Tweet and Dave. Hello, Hi, Hattie. <laughs> I found a funny shaped stick. That's not a stick, it's a guitar. <laughs> I don't think it's either of those things. Then what is it? <laughs> a banana carrier? <laughs> <laughs> Oops! <laughs> Sometimes you only find out what something really is when you see it matched up with something else. So if we find out what thing matches with this funny stick, we'll know what it is. That's right, Ruff Ruff. Maybe we can find it on our adventure. What adventure are we going on today, Hattie? Ask, Ask the, the hat. hat! Ask, Ask the, the hat. hat! OK. <laughs> today we're going on a matching adventure. Yay! A matching a adventure! Matching sounds fun! I see two matching things already. The cup and saucer are on your hat. A cup goes with a saucer, doesn't it, Hattie? That's right. Let's see how many more matching things we can find on our adventure. To your roly pods! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Woo -hoo! Or the spin again for a matching adventure! For some matching fun! Ruff! I'm going to find the thing that matches our funny shaped stick. Look before me! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to find it first. <laughs> Whoa! Ruff! Box! I'll open it! Ruff! Ruff! <sighs> oh, Ruff! The lid won't open! Let's look for.
for something to open it with. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Catty, we found a box. And things to open the lid with. Oh, my hat. I feel a game coming on. Are you ready to play? Game time! Game time! Up. <laughs> Aha! The box has a lock on it. And there's only one thing that will open a lock. Who has found the matching thing that will open the lock? Me! A lock and stick is a match. Me! A lock and key. Me! A lock and hammer go together. Who has made the right match? Ruff Ruff, Tweet or Dave? Yes! It's Tweet! Yay! <laughs> a lock needs a key to work and a key needs a lock. Ruff! It's a match! Hooray! Yay! The key opened the lock. These are some things that match up together. A cup and a saucer. A lock and a key. How many more can you see? Things that match together. I found some pencils. And I found some paper. They match up together. Pencils and paper. Ruff, ruff. A bucket. Yes. <laughs> that matches up with a spade. There's one more thing inside. Look, a drum. Hmm, it's a very quiet drum. It's not working. I've got a blue panda idea. The other things in the box all match up with something else. Yes, the pencils and paper. The bucket and spade. So maybe the drum needs to match up with something too. You're right, Dave. Ruff! Oh, find it! Ruff, ruff, ruff! <laughs> <laughs> ruff! I'm great at finding things. Me too. And me. Well done, everyone. And it's time for another game. Let's play. Game time! Game time! <laughs> Who has found a thing that matches up with the drum? A special stick. A flipper. A watering can. Ruff Ruff says his special stick matches up with the drum. Tweet says it's her flipper. And Dave says a watering can. Who has made the right match? Is it Ruff Ruff, Tweet or Dave? Yes, it's Ruff Ruff. Yay! A drum and a special drumstick go together. Now the drum makes a big noise. These are some things that match up together. A drum and a stick. A cup and a saucer. A lock and a key. How many more can you see? Things that match together. <laughs> <laughs> we found all sorts of things that match up. Yes, but you still need to find the thing that matches your funny shaped stick. A chicken! <laughs> Ruff, a chicken won't match up with us, Nick. No, Ruff Ruff, I see a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Chick Chick Chicken. Have you lost something? We'll help you find it. What has she lost, Tweet? Hmm, what goes with a chicken? I know, I know, an egg. <laughs> we'll find your egg. Ruff, 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 ruff. Hmm. It's not in here. Ruff, 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 ruff. Um, um. Found it. Well done, Tweet. <laughs> ruff, I found an egg too. <laughs> That's not an egg. It's a ball. Ball, ball. <laughs> Oh, and my hat knows it's time for a question. Let's play! Game time! Game time! <laughs> Who knows which thing matches up with this ball? A chicken! A bucket! Our funny-shaped stick! Do you know what goes together with the ball? Ruff Ruff says a chicken. Tweet says a bucket. And Dave says 
the funny shaped stick they found back at home. Who is right? Ruff Ruff, Tweet or Dave? <laughs> yes, it's Dave! Hooray! I knew a funny shaped stick would be good for hitting a ball like that. That's right, Dave. And here it is. It's called a tennis racket. A tennis racket needs a tennis ball. Woohoo! A racket and a ball go together. Ruff, ruff! These are some things that match up together. A racket and a ball. A drum and a stick. A cup and a saucer. A lock and a key. How many more can you see? Things that match together. Was a fun matching adventure. Wait, we've missed the best matchup of all. Oh, what's that, Dave? Ruff Ruff Tweet and Dave match up together with Patty. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a perfect match. And now it's time for us all to go home together to the spin again. <laughs> 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 Thanks for all your help on our matching adventure. It was fun finding things that go together, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, the final guessing game, just for you. Can you guess who will fall asleep first today? Ruff Ruff, Tweet or Dave? <sighs> It was Dave. It's always Dave. Until the next time we go together on an adventure, bye-bye! Bye-bye!